Hi, my name is John, and this is my tutorial for creating a Tesseract Cube. You start by making a new comp. Call it Side. Make sure the dimensions are square. I'm going to use 576. Add a new solid. And then effect trap code form. Uh, adjust the base form so that it's slightly bigger than the um, solid, so you don't get any black bits at the edges. Just one for the um, size Z. And then particles just need to be five seven six the same as the solid. Again one for the uh, Z. It's a particle. Just the colour I'm going to use this colour because this is what I used for the original one, but feel free to use whatever colour you think is closer to the tesseract in the film. Go down to uh, fractal field, uh, adjust the displace to give it a bit of animation. Uh, 65 is about right. And want it to affect the size as well, so just a little bit. And the opacity as well by 10. Add a new solid. Effect and add fractal noise. Change your spline and then adjust the contrast to 404 ish and brightness down to minus 39. Okay, so we want this animated as well, so we're going to animate the evolution. So Alt click on stopwatch and type time times 175 okay uh, you want to add some color to this so effect color correction colorama and then change the output cycle to something with two colors and blue then one color needs to be a light blue I'm gonna need to adjust this so it's a little bit lighter. Then the other colour needs to be black. Go back to the other one, change that a little bit. Bit lighter. So you get something that looks roughly like that. Transfer mode to overlay. Okay, and add another new solid. Change the color to a light blue. I'm going to use my notes and uh, use what I did for the original. And I'm going to name this square mask. And while we're at it, might as well name the other ones. Name the bottom one form. And the other one fractal overlay. Okay, select the uh, square mask layer and go up to the mask tool and double click on it to make a square mask 
select it to subtract and adjust the um, feather settings I'm going to go with my notes again and say that and adjust the expansion as well to minus 11 ok add another new solid keep the same color and this one will be called circle mask you can go up to the mask tool select the ellipse and double click on it select it to subtract again and adjust the feather about 130 and the expansion as well to about 57 layer, new adjustment layer and effect bevel edges just the thickness 0 0.01 and light intensity to 0.7 rename this to bevel edges and create another adjustment layer effect and magnify change it from circle to square and just magnification to 175 and size enough to uh, cover the entire comp rename this to magnify and change the blending mode to screen that's probably a bit too bright so change it to overlay and change the square mask to add OK, create a new comp, make this HD, and name it Cube. OK, grab the side comp and drag it into this cube comp. Make the layer 3D. Duplicate the layer, Control D. And rotate and reposition the layer. And continue to do that until you have a cube. Or if you have um, Red Giant's uh, plane space, you can uh, let that do it for you. OK, so once you've got uh, that done, create a new um, camera, make it 35mm, and then create a new null object, make it 3D, and then parent the camera to the null, and then adjust the rotation. And there you go, you have your cube.
create a new light make it a point light and adjust its position so it's in the center of the comp which will be the center of the cube and turn it off and create a new solid name it flare make it a black solid and effect video copilot optical flares Change the source type to track lights. And change the transfer mode to screen. Hit options. Clear all. Add a glow and a spike ball. Adjust the color, like a bit more blue. And adjust the glow setting to 231 and adjust the size to 23. Adjust the spike ball to 69 or 69.5. Adjust the scale to 103.5. OK. Just the brightness to 125 and the scale to 85. Okay. Just the flicker, just the speed. So 15 and the amount to 50. Add a blur, a fast blur. Make it 55 and repeat ages. Select all the uh, side layers and adjust the opacity to 60. Okay, go back to the flare layer and adjust the select lights to off. Okay, go back into options and adjust the glow. Change its gamma to 0.6 and click OK. It's a bit better. There goes a layer, new solid. OK. Effects, trap code, form. Adjust the base form to 500 by 500 by 500. Adjust the particles to 20 by 20 by 20. into particle and adjust the size to 10 size random up 
to 100 and opacity random to 75. Go into quick maps. Select color map. Change it to radial. And change the color to something. It's got three, so get rid of that one. Move that one to the middle. And create another white one. Adjust the center. Change that color to something like this. Okay. okay you go down to fractal field and adjust the displace to 65 and get there a bit more movement with the flow on the X by 15 X on 5 and adjust the Z by 20 which should give it a bit of movement and then drag that down to the bottom of the stack Okay, that's essentially it. Um, for animating it, just adjust the rotation on the null. So a keyframe at the beginning, for zero, and go to the end, and adjust the x for minus 180, and the y rotation to 180. And there's your rotating tesseract cube. And that's it. In my original, I had another form layer uh, for the background stars. I hope this helps and thanks for watching.